Hello viewers, once again it's me, Awedwa Nomren, and this is another episode of Verse Breakdown. The verse that I'm going to be breaking down today is Hosea chapter 6 verse 6. And in that verse, God himself had stated, For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. It is important that we understand what this verse means, because it's, an, it's a common offense that people make in the church. And what exactly do I mean by this? Desiring mercy more than sacrifice is the fact that God wants our hearts. When he tells us, come worship me, he wants our hearts, assuming that we would be all willing. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. It's just that people don't really want to give those hearts, but they want to serve God with their body, with their mouth, and then question, God, why don't you want this? And King Saul was a culprit or victim of this idea. Because in 1 Samuel chapter 15, read the whole chapter, it talks about how King Saul was instructed by God very clearly and straightforwardly that you are going to kill all the Amalekites and all their belongings based on some history that had happened if you read Exodus chapter 17 verse 8 and Deuteronomy chapter 25 from verses 17 to 19. And King Saul, if he was obedient, would have just carried out that instruction. But because he wanted to serve God with his mouth, with his body, by performing sacrifices, as the text itself says, and burnt offerings, he didn't give his heart out, and he didn't really like God. A series of his history helps us understand this. And if we read verse 22 of the text, Samuel told Saul, God didn't just want your offerings and your sacrifices, he wanted your heart. And King Saul had to learn a lesson from that because he was rejected, the kingdom was given to David, and the rest of the stuff that happened, happened. And how is this exactly relevant in our time? Well, so many people go to church. There are so many people who call themselves Christians. But it's few people who actually want to be a part of that. Everybody says, yes, we should sing. We should sing all kinds of stuff because of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 19 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 and Acts chapter 16 verse 25 where people sang hymns and it was encouraged where we should sing hymns. But the Bible has emphasized that we should do things with a pure heart and a pure conscience. And that's what the truth does. If you watch my video, Maintaining Our Virgin Purity, it's all about being pure. We, as Christians, should not just be giving God our mouth, our body. He is a spirit. If we read John chapter 4, verse 24, he wants our heart so that we can do his will because it's obedience that he wants with a willing heart. Not like King of Messiah, who obeyed God in a sense, but with an imperfect heart, without a perfect heart, if we read 2 Chronicles chapter 25 and verses 1 and 2. But we want to be like King Hezekiah, who was working with God with a perfect heart. If we read 2 Chronicles chapter 31 and verses 20 and 21, and Isaiah chapter 38, verse 3. I hope we now understand what Hosea chapter 6, verse 6 means. Thank you for listening.